My name is Ben O'Shrine. I'm an attending physician in the Johns Hopkins All Children's Cancer and Blood Disorders Institute, and I focus on blood and marrow transplantation. Hey, Kamal, how are you doing? Good to see you again. I chose pediatric oncology in general because I found oncology to be a field that's very interesting medically, and the science and medicine behind it was moving quickly and had the potential to change dramatically with ongoing research effort. I know you're ticklish. Wow, oh, my hands are cold, huh? Sorry about that. Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital has the largest pediatric blood marrow transplant program in the state of Florida. I think by virtue of our size, we're big enough that we have access to a variety of cutting edge treatments and research protocols that provide our patients with access to new and upcoming therapies. But we're small enough that we can provide that the personal touch. When you come to Johns Hopkins All Children's Blood and Marrow Transplant okay. Program, you really become part of an extended family. Our team here consists of physicians, advanced practice providers, social workers, dietitians, transplant coordinators, nurses, and many other key people. I'm gonna listen to you now, okay? When a child is initially identified as potentially needing a blood and marrow transplant, it's typically because the leukemia that they're being treated for is aggressive and without a transplant um, is likely incurable. Can you sit up? I want to take, take some big deep breaths. Transplantation is the best curative option for a lot of children with certain high-risk leukemias and is life-saving. Overall, about 85% of our transplants are successful, which puts us in the upper range uh, when compared nationally. Cancer care in general and, and within that pediatric cancer care is really undergoing a transformation right now. Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital is the first and only center in Florida to offer the commercially available version of CAR-T. CAR-T therapy works by harnessing the patient's own immune system to attack the cancer cells. Yes, Children undergoing bone marrow transplant often spend weeks or months in the hospital during the actual transplantation process. And one of the traditions that we have on 7 South, where the uh, bone marrow transplant unit is, for families and patients to ring a bell at the completion of therapy. One of the reasons why I went into pediatric cancer is because of how uh, amazing and inspirational the patients can be. And while it's our job to provide the right treatment and to support them through the process, they give back as much to us as we give to them.